To stand on a Civil War battlefield is to stand on holy ground, for these fields have been consecrated by their blood and by their bravery. And we believe quite strongly that to deface such ground is to dishonor their suffering and their sacrifice. It has been said that poor is the nation which has no heroes, but shameful is the nation which has them and forgets. By preserving the hallowed ground of a Civil War battlefield, we assure that these men will not be forgotten and lost to time, but will be remembered and honored forever for who they were, for what they did, and for what they can teach us. Preservation does not work as a bureaucratic exercise, nor does it work just if it's a national movement. Instead, preservation requires people within the community who care and are willing to act. In the Fredericksburg region, in its quest for preserving Civil War battlefields, the Central Virginia Battlefield Trust has been that force, that voice within this community. On innumerable occasions over the last 15 years, the Central Virginia Battlefield Trust has stepped in and bought land when we didn't have the time to do it. Uh, or in some cases worked with a, a landowner who was unwilling to sell to the federal government. The role of the CVBT in the preservation of battlefield lands in this region is in itself historic. You know, it's hard to believe that this organization is 15 years old already. From starting out from scratch with just a handful of people, that we've been able to do so much in this period of time, to the point now where we've saved over 900 acres of battlefield lands in this area. I think the key to our success all along has been a, a, a sort of a three-way partnership. Uh, our local volunteers here with the Park Service and the hundreds of people and thousands of donors that we've had all over the country. It's that combination of effort that has led to our success and I think leaves us poised for much greater things in the future. When I give speeches to various places, people will come up and they'll say they think that CVBT is doing a terrific job, but they themselves can't get involved. I don't have the time, maybe later or I'm not articulate, or I don't know enough, maybe later, or I don't have a lot of money, maybe later. Well, the problem is the battlefields may not be here later. They're being destroyed right now, and right now is the time to get up and get involved. There's a simple stewardship poem that says it all. I am only one, but I am one. I can't do everything but I can do something. What I can do, I ought to do. And what I ought to do, by the grace of God, I will do. It's the greatest of all mistakes to do nothing because you, you think you can do only a little. Do what you can. You may think that one person, when a thousand are needed to make effective changes, is not enough. But you are incorrect. One committed person can attract a thousand others. And it's important for each of you to be that one person. Each of you has something to contribute to the future success of CVBT, and there will be meaningful and lasting consequences of your getting involved. Together, we can continue to make a difference. In sum, I think the future is bright for CVBT. Those of us in the leadership of the organization will continue to fight the good fight until our final role is called. That is our pledge and our promise. By preserving the hallowed ground of a Civil War battlefield, we don't just preserve land. We also preserve the memories and the meaning, the sacrifices and the stories of the men who fought and fell there men whose bond to cause and comrade and country was so strong that they were willing to die rather than to deny it.